Good morning everyone. How's your day today? I hope everyone is doing well. I want to ask you all something. Do you always sleep late at night? Or as a student, do you always procrastinate on your assignment until the end of the deadline? Are you aware of this action you do repeatedly? If you are, these actions might be your habits. Not a good one though. Everyone has a bad habit, from smoking to picking their nails. A bad habit is a behavior pattern that might disrupt your life and prevent you from reaching your objective. Behavior change is complicated and complex because it requires you to disrupt a current habit while simultaneously fostering a new, possibly unfamiliar set of actions. Bad habits may be hard to break, but they can be done. Today, I, Shah Mifai, will enlighten you about how to break bad habits. It can be challenging to break bad habits, especially if you've been doing them for a while. But the better graphs of how habits begin helps make the process easier. You may break bad habits in a variety of ways. Technology is already being used by some people to kick harmful habits. However, today, I just want to concentrate on the primary or crucial factor while trying to change unhealthy behaviors. The first step in overcoming your repetitive habits is to recognize the triggers that lead to them. Finding triggers typically requires a lot of time and reflection. There are certain actions you may take to start the process of recognizing triggers in your life though. During stressful time, people tend to pick up habits to help them cope with difficult situations and emotions. For example, 61% of Americans are trying to break unhealthy habits developed during the coronavirus pandemic. Namely, 30% too much screen time, 22% side for eating habits and 21% sleeping too much or too little. See, it's not just you who's lazing around, but it's okay. You can start by tracking your habit for a few days to determine whether it's it is any patterns known. Not things like where does the habitual behavior happen? Or maybe how do you feel when it happens? Let's assume you want to put a cap on staying up late. After observing your behavior for a few days, you notice that if you start watching TV or talking to friends after dinner, you tend to stay up late. However, if you read or go for a stroll, you can sleep early. On weeknights, you resolve to quit watching TV and switch off your phone by 9 o'clock. It is simple to stick to the pattern of getting to bed early when the triggers of watching TV or not chatting friends are removed. <laughs> okay, next, we can focus on something that I think is a game changer in breaking habits, which is mindfulness. Through meditation or other forms of training, one can learn the skill of mindfulness which is the deliberate act of focusing one attention on the present moment experience without judgment. Mindfulness training makes people more aware of the reward reinforcing their behavior. I think it can help you tap into what is driving your habit in the first place. Once this happens, you are more easily able to change their association with the reward from a positive one to a more accurate one. For example, over the past 20 years, Susan Ellen Brewer, who is an American psychiatrist and neuroscientist, studied the durable mechanism of mindfulness using standard and real-time fMRI, translated research finding into programs to treat addictions. He researched ways to create a better method by bringing scientific and clinical practice together. He conducted research in his quit smoking program by I'm sorry by the first thing he has done to do is pay attention while they're smoking. 
they often give him a quizzical look because they're expecting him to tell them to do something other than smoking like eat a candy as a substitute when they have a craving but because a reward drives such behavior and not the behavior itself he has his clients pay attention to what it tastes and feels like when they smoke okay now we can see is the goal is to make his patient aware of the reward value or the level positive reaffirmation they are getting from the habit they want to change the higher the value the more likely they are to repeat their behavior when that same client started paying attention as they smoke they realized that cigarettes taste bad commenting smells like stinky cheese and tastes like chemicals yuck this help their brain update the reward value of their habit they were able to get accurate information about how smoking feels right now which then help them become disenchanted with the process that concludes my presentation however i like to quickly summarize the main points which first you must identify your trigger don't feel discouraged if you can identify a trigger on the first try these feelings are often complicated and it's not a failure to require multiple attempts to spot a psychological trigger many people get discouraged but know that you can identify this feeling even if it doesn't happen right away then the next time you find yourself indulging in a bad habit take a moment to pause and consider using mindfulness to help you overcome it your behaviors may not change immediately but stick with them if you can hack your mind using these methods you will eventually be able to break free of unwanted habits and comfortably watch your cravings pass by thank you so much everyone for being such a wonderful audience that participated enthusiastically throughout my speech i hope my speech was valuable and will encourage you to start the first step in breaking your bad habits can you feel free to share your feedback with me and maybe even network over coffee thank you once again good day i bite my tongue it's a bad habit